Hey y'all, uh, so this is the life right now. <laughs> Hanging in my hammock in my backyard. Happens to fit perfectly between this old clothing line where you would dry and hang your clothes. Um, so yeah, I've been enjoying this. I've done it before, but it's definitely been a nice oasis in this time. Um, my kid went on spring break March 6th. We knew about this COVID since then and we didn't do anything on spring break in that time and the 14th I went out for a couple of hours one other day went off to nature with the husband and the kid um, otherwise it's been curbside pickup or porch drop off life and we have definitely been nesting here around the home I think just about every thing that we had on the list to be fixed or rearranged or <laughs> taken care of is just about checked off. Um, I've definitely played in makeup more. If you followed me as an artist for a handful of years, I did um, paintings and body makeup for a long time. And makeup is definitely a hobby. I just still enjoy it. And so I've turned to that. Um, you can always go through my Facebook post or my Instagram post to, to see what I used to do. I still do it every now and then, but not as much as I used to. I, I used to be heart makeup, and the art was capitalized. And then I changed to prism makeup, which was perception really is something magical. I loved that name so much. Um, but it all just had to do with color, and so I do that as a hobby and I definitely have friends that I still work with doing that um, but I've stuck more with painting and color therapy <sighs> yeah I'm like it's been home garden I'm thankful for social media that I can be sharing friends that are still doing um, their farming and able to drop off plants on the porch and allowing people to go do curbside pickups and grocery stores doing the same and FaceTiming with friends and family and playing virtual like card games and just figuring out you know how to make the best of all of this especially having a kiddo I don't know how it is for everybody but we have a only child kiddo and um, for him you know socializing is really important and not to always be with an adult so we've definitely been working on finding ways for him to feel connected with his peers and it's an everyday learning process we even though i have this youtube channel now um we are a low-tech family and so it's very interesting how technology has integrated more into our lifestyles to make this um connection work more um, but we still have a limited time and hour when we do that and still focus on reading and crafting and cooking and our garden beds, which the garden has definitely helped all of us. I think we're going on seven, eight years with our garden beds now and some of his schoolwork, our kiddos' schoolwork was, you know, how to plot out a garden. So it was like perfect. It was great timing and aligning um but yeah the video is just gonna be an inside scope to the quarantine life of my day-to-day -day life and journey and um I did get to move in my studio in this time not all the way but I had to move my stuff from the storage unit to my studio because of when my lease was up um where I was storing my studio stuff so yeah, if you're new to my channel, I'm Artist Ashley. If you like what you see so far, give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my journey in the future, please consider subscribing to my channel. So my kiddo's school has a circus class where Circus Harmony comes and teaches them different tricks. And he is currently learning how to juggle. I thought I had his juggling bags from school and even told his teacher that I did, but to come find out, we didn't, so we decided to sew our own juggling bags so no one had to worry about getting out and doing porch drop-offs, etc.
so at his school, not only do they teach him how to sew, but they also teach him how to knit and how to embroider. And currently, he's learning new stitches in embroidery class. It's handworking class, but they're embroidering right now. And I had never embroidered before, so I took this opportunity for my kiddo to teach me how to do the stitches so I can take those stitches and turn it into my first embroidery project. Um, his teacher also FaceTimes with him so he can learn a new stitch, and when he learns that, he teaches me. I was so determined, I literally spent all day making this. When I knew I was going to be embroidering my first project, my intention was to make this for my friend Crystal over at Grow, Create, Inspire. She is very inspirational and has definitely taught me a lot about plants and herbal medicine, so I just wanted to give her a little small gift back in appreciation for her. So we also learned something really cool from his handworking teacher, and that was that if you hammer leaves and flowers into fabric, it will naturally dye fabric. Um, I never thought about this for leaves or like three-leaf clovers, so we went around collecting different leaves and clovers. Not our four-leaf ones, we don't like picking our luck, um, but violets and violet leaves that turn out to be really cute hearts. And um, we hammered them into fabrics and we made um, some tea cloths to give to people in this time as well. So this was our first holiday ever at our house. We are normally gone at one grandparent's house or the other. My husband has spent 30, well, two years um, at his parents' house for any holiday, Christmas or Easter. And this is his first time that he's ever missed a holiday with them. And it's the same for my kiddo now since he's been born. Um, he actually has the same tradition. and. So we decided to dye eggs at the house and make the most of it that we could since we couldn't be at his parents' house or my mom's house. We usually do like a glow-in-the-dark egg hunt on my mom's house. That's been our running tradition and um, yeah, so we tried things out for ourselves this year. Oh, let me tell you how excited I am that I'm moving in. It was a little different because I had different plans on how I was going to do this, but I am excited that I at least got everything moved in, almost everything moved in, and um, hope to carve out some time in the next couple of weeks of actually rearranging and designing the studio space for me to work. I've been wanting these windows clean for a while, but they're tall and um, pretty high off the ground actually. So I told my husband that I needed a squeegee to get it done and his clever thinking, he took a windshield wiper <laughs> from our car and he is getting it done. And I loved that so much. It meant so much to me. So of course naturally that meant it was easier for me to get the inside, so he got the outside, I got the inside. Mm -hmm. 
It was all for the prisms. I feel like they sparkle much brighter now. So one thing that's been different in the household is that we've been making fun yummy drinks almost every day. And the boys are making a pina colada right here. And they love pina colada. When we were in Mexico, I can't even count how many that they had. Of course, my kiddos was non-alcoholic. And they were just uh, paradise, literally. And um, so they decided to bring Mexico home and try making their own pina colada. And they turned out very delicious. Thank you for joining me on my journey. Um, if you like what you're seeing and the insight to my family, give it the video a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos in the future, you can always subscribe. And if you want to be notified, please ring the bell. I also added some photos of some past makeup work that I've done, so stay tuned. So I'm really into costuming as well. So this one and the next two, I also did the costuming as well as the makeup. <laughs>